Well, it's a sport not as commonly talked about as the likes of basketball, football, hockey, or baseball. But many halftime performances at those games wouldn't happen without the help of dance teams. Our Justin Prince caught up with the Bagley dancers last week. As they prepare for their upcoming season, the Bagley dance team can't help but look back at how far they've come since last year. We have a group of 18 girls this year. Last year when we started off, we had all these girls and they were, of course, a year younger. And um, the first day of practice was almost like a train wreck. <laughs> But even with a young team. I think a lot of people counted us out and just thought, well, they're a young team. It's a building year. The girls went on to surprise a few people in Section 4A. They could rise to um, whatever expectations we set for them, and they ended up placing sixth at the section meet. Fast forward to this year. The Flyers haven't graduated a single girl off last year's team. However, still a very young team, our oldest girls are juniors this year and the expectations are high i think that this year since we have the same group of girls we can push even further and big goal is to make it to state and i think we can do that if we have our top performance at sections we have to keep working hard at every practice and pushing each other and always have a positive attitude and i think we can get there but to get there they know they'll have to overcome their youth as well as a few other obstacles we've always felt it's a mental game when you get there and you're not intimidated by the looks of other schools or other teams. And they refuse to judge their season solely based on how far they go. Last year I felt like we had a successful season because we were able to grow so much. Mm -hmm. If they make the same growth that they made last year, if they make that same growth this year, I, I would call it a successful season. Mm -hmm. With the Bagley dance team, Justin Prince, Lakeland News. And the Flyers will next dance during halftime of Bagley's varsity boys basketball game on January 5th. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.